Gunther Steiner's eight-year stay with the Haas F1 team came to an end after he was dismissed by owner Gene Haas. Gunther Steiner was reportedly denied the chance to say goodbye to his staff after his sacking on Wednesday, despite having known about the news since last month. The 58-year-old had been at the helm of Haas since they entered the sport in 2016, but after another 10th place finish in the Constructors' Championship, owner Gene Haas opted to make a change. Taking Steiner's place will be Ayao Komatsu, who has also been with the team since their introduction onto the F1 grid. The Japanese engineer has been drafted into the role with the aim of bringing a more engineering-focused approach to the leadership structure, in contrast to Steiner's more personable focus. That decision will likely spell the end of Steiner's time as an F1 team principal, meaning fans of the sport are bidding farewell to one of the most iconic figures in the paddock. The Murano-born boss became a cult hero due to his sweary rants, which were broadcast to hordes of new fans through Netflix's Drive to Survive series. While Steiner's departure makes sense off the back of four bottom two constructors' championship finishes in the span of five years, new information revealed that the former Haas boss discovered his fate last month, and was unable to say his goodbyes to the team that he worked with for the better part of a decade. Discussing the situation for Sky Sports, Craig Slater explained, People have been telling me, from sources inside the factory, that there will be a lot of disappointment that Gunther has gone. He didn't get a chance to say goodbye, by the way, which I think will disappoint him. Slater also questioned the role that his extracurricular activities may have played in the decision. He suggested that Haas would question why he was releasing a book and getting involved in a U.S. comedy series and doing all this Netflix stuff when the team are flatlining and flatlining at the bottom. Slater later added to these comments on the Sky Sports F1 podcast, stating, I learned about this at the weekend, but some people I've spoken to say they've known about it for a couple of weeks now. And when I did check in with the Haas team today, with people I speak to there, They've told me that Gunther Steiner found out about this towards the end of December. He hasn't had an opportunity to go and say his goodbyes at the factory. He is still in the UK at the moment and that's interesting as well. With Steiner gone, team principal Gene Haas has cited the desire to better utilize the constructor's technical partnership with Ferrari, while placing a bigger emphasis on the technical side of the management process.